Who wants to bring one of those up? I'll play uh, Jeopardy music while we're waiting. <laughs> Claude, what's your number one tip to make money in 2019? That, that, that spans across other businesses, like because not everybody here does the same thing. First, uh, two words, passion and practicality. You've got to do something you're passionate about, that you really enjoy, that you feel is a benefit to people. Okay, you're in real estate. You've got to believe that you are the best realtor. You can help people overcome, uh, 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 lower their expenses, give them much better accountability and customer service. You've got to believe in your heart and soul with passion that your product or service is the best coming from you and that you blow away your competition. In fact, you have to be so arrogant and self-centered that you know in your heart and soul that you will do a better job than the other 99%. The other P is practicality. You can have the best product, the best service, and work your tail off. You've gotta be practical. You've gotta to go to the bank. So whatever you do in your mind, you've gotta say, hey, I'm gonna drive in my car. I'm gonna sit in traffic. I'm gonna meet this person. I'm gonna make 40 phone calls today. Am I going to make money doing what I'm doing today? So not only if you have the passion, is it easy to do our jobs when we love what we're doing? I love that every day is Friday to me. Everybody remember school, Friday before, vac you know, I loved Fridays. I love getting up in the morning. I love sitting on my desk here working from home. I'm on top of the mountain in Colorado. I mean, this is a dream for me. I don't want to, I am so grateful that I'm doing something I love and I'm meeting wonderful people like you. On the practical side, can I do deals? Can I make money? Do people see the benefit of what I do? So passion and practicality. Does that make sense, Audrey? Yes, that was excellent. Thank you. Okay. And you got to work on number three. I'll throw one in. It's the same old mantra. Got to work on your verbal skills. You've got to have that hypnotic word power. You've got to get, you've got to learn to ask questions and raise that passion in other people. Get them emotionally involved. Say the right words. Ask the right questions. Practice redirection. Somebody do a redirection to me. I'll be the prospect. Go ahead. Someone do a redirection to me. I'm trying to sell my home. Go ahead. Why are you selling that home, Claude? Okay. Well, no, that's not exactly a redirection. Give me. Claude, elaborate more. Um, elaborate it a little bit more. Claude, you don't want to sell that home, do you? It's you, but something like that. Okay, okay. Like you're almost trying to talk me out of the sale. That's a redirection. Go in the complete opposite direction that they're expecting you to say. Does that throw me off balance? You better believe it. Go for it. Go do it again. Uh, uh, Claude, you really don't want to sell that. I mean, why sell it? You should keep it. Yeah, you know, my, uh, my wife and I have talked for days about we love this home but I know just, just she, got an, she got an offer for double her salary if we move to East Bumble um, North Carolina and um, we, you know it's an offer we can't refuse so we got it would double our income and so we just what else can we do we got to sell it and we're moving here's the thing we're moving January 15th what did I just give you what just okay. happened? Did I turn into the salesperson? Yeah. Did I give you the two sticks, did I give you two sticks of dynamite to rub together? Mm-hmm. You're moving. You're giving me a presentation. Oh, I'm the best lease purchase investor. I'm the best realtor. Oh, we have offices all over. Instead, you said, Claude, why are you selling this home? Then you got me emotionally involved. What what was the information I just gave you to I gave you the way to sell me. I just mm -hmm. handed it to you on a silver platter only because you did the complete opposite that you're intuitively, that you've been taught by all the other and people. Absolutely. You told me that you, your wife got a major, a big bonus and that you already moving in 15 days. Um, and so you got to sell. I think the question you need to ask is, well, what are you going to do if you can't sell the house? Oh, it's a big problem. You know, we're, you know, we're living, you know, we have a big mortgage on this house and, uh, you know, we live in Colorado. We're moving to North Carolina. I don't know. We're really worried about it. We're thinking of renting it, but we've heard horror store. I, I don't know what to do. It's, um, thank you for asking. Um, we're looking for ideas, suggestions, uh, suggestions. Well, Are you a realtor or an investor, Mr. Stevenson? I'm an investor. Oh, uh, you're, one, oh you're one of those. You want to show guys? you a way, if I could show you a way that, uh, we could get top dollar for your house. 
in uh, in the time frame that you're looking at, that's not something you'd want to talk about, is it? Um, yeah, you got my attention, sir. I'm listening. <laughs> 